So I have assembled everyone here today because, as you know, we do do a lot of positive Come Disney on. stuff, right? Disney Plus stuff. We enjoy Boba so Fett. Awesome. We enjoy Mandalorian. Uh, we hated what Disney did to the sequel trilogy. Uh, well, Disney is trying to hide <laughs> a huge cringe embarrassment of uh, their latest screw up. So what are you uh, about? this happened last week and I completely missed it, too. And then when I saw this, I have to join in the fun <laughs> and get you guys' reaction to this. Um, so I don't know if you are aware, but Disney has a new experience uh, the Galactic uh, Cruiser Hotel, right? It's called the Galactic Star Cruiser. And they just finished pro uh, uh, releasing a promotional video for it. And it was so bad that they immediately <laughs> removed it when everybody downvoted it. Now, like what? Alex said, downvotes are gone. Or they're leaving. But there's one like browser extension that allowed you to see downvotes. And it was absolutely uh, uh the joke of the internet look at all these videos that have been created making fun of this experience now what would you expect to pay for a a, a hotel stay you know if you were just to take a vacation well what's the, what's the average price of the hotel two three hundred mm, bucks yeah. a night for a place damn that's man that's a good ass no, place well, i'm gonna I mean, talk about like a hundred dollars oh no at disneyland that's probably what yeah, it right yeah. okay well, let, let me show you what the Galactic Cruiser experience, what you can expect to pay for the Galactic Cruiser experience. So let's see. Here's the website. So what it is, is, is it an all-in, all-encompassing trip where you, like, make believe like you're in one of the ships in Star Wars. Okay. In okay. which movie, though? Uh, exactly. Well, here's what it's going to cost you. It is costs you uh, two, two guests per cabin. Five thousand dollars for your fuck stay. Right off. It is a two night stay. Five oh, it's only two nights. Dollars. Two nights. I was like, that's good for six months. That's fucking it. Go and fuck right off. What the hell? Six thousand dollars if you come with four guests, like you know, mother, father, and two kids, right? So keep that in mind as we go back. And Disney, you can't hide it from us. I found a reupload. God bless YouTube. Uh, so that we can do our own reaction to this. You are <laughs> going to love this. So what do you get for your 6000 Let us watch right now. A real goddamn lightsaber. <laughs> you know, they got that, that new Ray lightsaber, but that's not actually even featured at this hotel. So here we go. Thank you, Games Anchor, for re-uploading this. Now, it's not in the best quality, but this is about the best we could do because they're trying to purge the Internet of it. <laughs> cannot wait to have you aboard because Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser is a first of its kind vacation experience. Where okay, so notice all these pictures. I got to pause it because I do not want to be attacked or have the lawyers of Disney come after me. So we will, you know, be pausing it. So right away, <laughs> this kid is hey, way well, too excited. Hello there. I'm super excited to see what you and your team excited. create. <laughs> we cannot wait to have you aboard because Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser is that new thing where you get your zipper going down this way? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so so here's where you enter the building. This is the launch pad. So you actually go in there, and then they probably put you in an elevator. I actually had the pleasure of uh, being one of the people that experienced the Star Trek experience in Las Vegas. And they did an amazing – uh, yeah, it was a, I'm not sure which uh, place it was, but they had this FX for the transporter, and it worked really fucking well. So you go in there, and then they make believe like you're being launched from a pad, and then you go up into the hotel with a bunch of television screens. So that's what that of is. And of course, they make it look fucking amazing in the concept kind of vacation art. experience where you get to spend. And here are your rooms. Look at how massive, extensive it is. And looks good, right? Okay, two so days let's keep and going. Two nights <laughs> living out your very own Star Wars. Got all sorts of characters around here doing Story. the things, Chewie. I'm just too excited. We, the Goldbergs, go I've never heard. See that? I bet you that right there is when you're. Go that's so. That's the entrance, and then you get fired up, and then you go over here. <laughs> here we go. Welcome to the Halcyon Star Cruiser. Wow. This is unreal. Oh my God. It's like I'm walking straight into a Look at those Star good movie. console it's, like it's not a movie, They look right? like they're you from the 1980s. In the middle of it all and in the middle of the action. 
And then there's activities you can do on here. Yeah, there are activities yeah. on board the ship. The okay. first one that I'm really excited okay. about is get? lightsaber training. For 6,000. Oh, lightsaber training. Here on the Very bridge, cool. we also invite all of our guests to do bridge operations training. Bridge operations training. This is where. You got to remember these things, right? And no, Joe, it does not come with a lightsaber. You don't get to take it home. You just get to use theirs and then get your fucking hands off our lightsaber. Well, it's going to so be crowded, crowded <laughs> though. If I pay $6,000, I better get my nope, fucking turn on. No <laughs> Oh, and you get to punch it. You get to watch a television oh, screen. Focus as on making sure we have some of the so here's best the hotel. entertainment in the galaxy on board. One of which I'm so <laughs> excited about is this pop star. Who is known <laughs> the hallway. The galaxy for all. Oh, he's going Willy Wonky style here. He's he completely ignored her and went into the experience. So here's what it's like. What's going on? I just popped through that door and I have no idea. Look above and see the world slowly emerge before your eyes. Feel the swell as the moon begins to rise above the tide. All around, change is coming, something new is in the I was just in there, the lights were low, and this performer just came out of nowhere. You just met Gaia. She was incredible. I'm still waiting for my well, goddamn value. On your home planet. There's no that reason I should pay right. even a thousand dollars. John, <laughs> see how fucking cheap that was? Everything. Holy shit. That, you know what that reminds me of? That, that is hilarious when, when a Fifth Element experience would be much better than a Star Wars experience. You remember yeah. that chick from Kadeshi? I was uh, half expecting the this. Like, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> this looks like a cheap cosplay. It is. And a, like, is. the background is fucking awful. This is really bad. And, of course, motherfucker's playing it up like it's the best thing he's ever seen. There you are. Oh my gosh, I was just in there, the lights were low, and this performer just came out of nowhere. You just it, met Gaia. She was incredible. I can't get well, over you back how to the launch in your home planet. it's supposed to fully immerse you, and this is the hallway. Like, if you don't look at the walls, you know, you've got yourself <laughs> pretty standard looking right. hotel room from Motel 6. I, I would pay money to not have to do this. <laughs> no, I'm serious. <laughs> not a lot of money. It. But if someone's like, hey, we're going to go do this this weekend, uh, I'll tell you what, I'll give you 40 bucks if I don't have to go. Uh, I cannot believe for $6,000 they can't even afford a set that looks good from Star Wars. What shocks me the most is this is the actual Star Cruiser set. This looks straight out of fucking Space Mountain. These consoles. How dare you speak so lowly of Space Mountain? I love <laughs> hey, Space Hey, no, Mountain. I love Space Mountain, and in fact, I brought it up just to make sure. Look at that. This is how many decades ago? So, like one hundred <laughs> four decades ago, <laughs> and now we have uh, you know this, this, this is what you're getting for six thousand. So you so go up to the bridge. For... Look at it. Mm. This looks like it's out of the sixties or something, and yeah. it, you didn't. You can't even get the Star Wars look correct. And you're expecting people to spend. Look, they subverted $6, your expectations $6. of value. They did exactly what they wanted to. Uh, now, okay, uh, that's what you deserve. So, uh, yeah, if this is what <laughs> if you're a Disney Star Wars fan, this is what you fucking deserve. I well, hope you spend six thousand dollars. So, what do you get to do when you go over there? Well, they uh, okay. So they removed that video because it was downloaded to hell. It was cringe. It embarrassed them, and they got rid of it as soon as possible. Because actually, they had pre-orders before they showed anything. the The hotel was sold out for like three to four months because people were like using their imagination. Oh wow, we're gonna no be fully immersed. Well, when that video started coming out, they started a lot of the people who had their reservation booked started to cancel their reservations. <clears throat> well, I could see why. Because like, yeah. had you told me this was not Star Wars, I'd be like, well, what is this? So I don't know what that is. <laughs> there was a, a like like a Nickelodeon sp uh, teens in space show. It looks like that kind of shit. 
And yeah. that's just the beginning, guys, because it gets worse. Um, this video is actually surprisingly still up on the Disney Parks website, which gives you an in-depth look at their two featured things. So here are the three featured things, obviously, other than staying in a hotel that has the walls made up to look like a, a spaceship, mm. but you get lightsaber training. Remember that. Mm -hmm. You get to play with a real lightsaber and, and you know block lasers, and they grade you upon that and give you a ranking. And then uh, you get to uh, go to the bridge while the ship is under assault, and you get to participate on the bridge pressing buttons and shit. And then finally, uh, there's little story paths. So, you know, there are performers and actors walking around the hotel that you can interact with and they'll like start to give you stories if you want you can be a fucking dick and be like oh first order th these guys are here or you could be like i'll work with the resistance and like come over here well who is going to be uh your captain and these characters well they just announced a first look at captain Kiv kivan who that's is violet from willy wonka who is the <laughs> captain of the ship <laughs> Captain Karen <laughs> has been announced as the ship captain. Uh -huh. Here are some of the characters that you will interact with. And this ship apparently has a, a secret thing where, like, they're secretly helping the resistance and stuff. Mm -hmm. But so here is the actual uh, lightsaber training that they put out for everybody to see. And this video is still up. It's half and, and half. Oh, shit. Look at this. My my downvote thing still works. So it's more downvote. It's even worse on the original video. So here we go. For your 6,000 here, let's go. Welcome to the Lightsaber Training Pod. Mm -hmm. So excited this to have you here. This looks unbelievable. We have been working this on this experience. This looks unbelievable. To have a whole brand new way for off, our guests awful. to experience to this ancient art of the lightsaber. Can I hold that? Absolutely. That's mine? Please, okay. please, okay. this is for you. Generic looking lightsaber, so which you may not take. Go for it, right, right here? there. Oh. <laughs> Like right, so right. you're right, you right there. Your face yeah, two hundred dollars these days. <laughs> when did you start? <laughs> did you start? That, that he started, Joe. That is fun. That is that the laser that Perfect. you fucking. <laughs> That was fun. What? I cannot believe I just had so much excitement. That motherfucker couldn't even fake having fun. Look, I as someone Literally who cannot fake a having flashlight. fun. Flashlight. I like I mean I know when someone's pretending. Like this shit's terrible. Yeah. A flashlight, Alex. Again. And he follows the flashlight. Uh. There is no possible way that the lightsaber training is any fun whatsoever. That was quite possibly the look, most pathetic thing. If you're looking I've ever for some seen. fun, you come on over to my house, pay me a thousand dollars, I'll provide you with a well, lightsaber. Six times less, and I'll throw shit at you. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's more immersive. Deal. That's pretty immersive. A thousand dollars right $1, now. $1, Book it $1. with OJ Attractions. <laughs> okay, but that's not all. Book okay, so that was <laughs> Bro, the wait. lightsaber experience. What did you think of that? No. The, okay, not worth six thousand. No, I hate that. Okay, Ooh. watch this. This is even better. Okay, just, just you fucking wait. Show me the value. <laughs> Here's your value. Look at this bridge. You can press every fucking button. Look at how Give fucking Star Wars this it's looks. Right. This looks so cool in here. Oh, it's so here cool in, front of in the here. Systems, this is one of my favorite places because you actually get to push all the buttons. You oh. can actually change change the settings, control the ship. But you know we can really use some help. Control the ship. We can really help. use some you settings. Can really control, control the ship. <laughs> Just buy yourself a steel battalion controller, hit the buttons on there, and you'll have just as much ship. fun. Oh but, my you god. You know, we can really use some it's help defending the ship. <laughs> are you up for it? Oh yeah. Are I'm you up for defending the ship? Trust me to do it. You're going to be actually guiding where we're where we're aiming, so you're okay. gonna aim and I'll fire. Okay. Alright. This was like the ride, the millennium felt. Last thing to do. You want to take us to hyperspace? No, I would love to take it to hyperspace. All just right. don't let me mess this up. You got this. Okay. So, you know, just give that lever a strong pull. Okay. Do you know how fucking ridiculous that would be in real life? You pull the thing and then you see the, the hyperspace. It's, it's, There's no sense of momentum or anything. It's, it's, it's you're staring kids. at a fucking screen. It's not for kids, <laughs> Joe. It's for an adult experience. You have $6,000. You can you can go to 
Disney World for much, much less. And I just can't believe how shitty everything looks. And you play this large screen TV where everything's moving so slow. Like, I, I would, can't believe this is what they have. I, I, I would pay actually a really great amount. Like, I would pay per view. That's like, we have the exclusive look at the people who paid $6,000. Now, they don't know what this event is, and they've never seen anything. I want to watch their reactions. Yes. <laughs> it's yes. like, you pay. What they it's like, shh, shh, shh. all right, you're done. Next. Right. So I waited in line for four hours for this lightsaber thing, and it's 30 seconds of flashlights. Yes. yes. Give okay. me $6,000, so dummy. Now let, so that's $6,000, but, you know, uh, they do have that Star, uh, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Right, and I even uh, looked it up. Sta Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is a hundred dollars compared to six thousand dollars. And what did they make? You know, uh, I was like, okay, for a Star Wars fucking Galactic Hotel, you expect the, it to look Star Wars. Well, here's what you get for a hundred dollars. Okay, take this corridor to the Triple Rift, then head down to the escape pod base. So look at how much better this shit is. It blows me away that they put all this effort in this. Like, if this was the hotel, I'd be like, holy fucking shit. Okay, yeah, this is maybe worth, you know, 6000 to fully immerse myself. Yeah, one of This is one of several rides that you could go just go by going to Galaxy's Edge. Yeah, this is the one I couldn't go to because you have to go that one in the hole. Yeah. That's like, let's go. I want to do that one. And you can build your own lightsaber here. I do want to eventually go to this one, but just. Fucking interactive and shit like this. This, this if it would look anything like this. Then you can start to justify the prize. I mean, then if they call them ad ads, I'm not in. Shields. Shields. I see no evidence. No. Oh, wonder, oh, oh, this is where this is where we do your mom jokes. <laughs> yeah, he gets dragged across the screen. <laughs> There's a battle going on. So compare this to controlling a little controller and pressing a button. You don't feel like you're in combat or anything like I don't, that. Yeah, yeah, I don't see how they just it's hugely just hugely immersive experience. <laughs> it was so bad they fucking took took it down. And and to m compound things, they released more. a new video just now uh, a, a welcome video uh, for the hotel so this is what you see when you first walk into that entrance and you're about to go to this overpriced piece of shit area here you go hello there and greetings from chandler star line i'm agent and dario zim and i would like to congratulate you on booking your voyage through the galaxy and you will be boarding. And look, she uses an iPhone. A <laughs> iPhone they can't even afford. A Carillion so. MBO 1400 Star Cruiser built during the romantic age of exploration. This ship has hosted spectacular vacations for centuries. And now, Chandra Starline is celebrating with a special exclusive journey to Batu, retracing the path of its maiden voyage. So that's probably the thing that's most most worth it in the whole six thousand dollar experience over the two days is that at some point you get to go to Batu and it's a, a fully immersive thing so you never actually exit and go to your vehicle or anything like that they'll shoot you down to Batu which is built right next to the hotel and it and, and you know obviously they use more like ship like things where you're landing and stuff like that. For this special voyage, Batu is your the ship will be piloted edge. by. The esteemed Captain Keevan, so you are in expertly capable hands. While on your voyage, you will have access to an exciting range of activities, all just a short straw from your cabin. Try your hand at the honored ancient art of wielding a lightsaber, or learn how... He didn't really move very fast either. <laughs> Whoa, that was fun! <laughs> the crew operate the ship at a bridge operations training session they should just hire us for reactions i'll do that 
I'm doing lightsaber. Oh, thing. if like, you like. Oh my God, Relax. this is so much play, fun. Gamer. I can't believe I'm just paying six thousand dollars for it. What a steal! Thank you, Disney, for inviting me out to invite us. We'll, we'll give you what, what is that? I pull the lever and I um, hop for space. <laughs> Over. You don't say. Oh, I play Come a mobile game. In the cozy sublight lounge. <laughs> oh, get this. So your six thousand dollars comes with one free alcoholic drink. <laughs> Your vacation is one free. You make it a I can. I, they they don't even make all the fucking drinks free or like an open bar. Like that would maybe they at least cash lessen in on the, the blow. <laughs> right. Kids want Legendary drinks, Star but one Cruiser. free alcoholic drink. For your family of On behalf 20. of myself and Chandra the Starline, I would like to welcome you to the spectacular world of galactic exploration, where your journey is our honor. See you soon, traveler. Oh yes. Chandra Star Line reserves the right to alter any excursion or itinerary without notice in the unlikely event of piracy, invasion, sabotage, or planetary uprising. Chandra Star Line is not responsible for galactic unrest. Bye. Um. Cool, 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 cool. Now, cool. my expectations were already pretty low for the uh, imbeciles that are in charge of uh, Star Wars proper over at Disney, but. Turns out that these motherfuckers were impossible to underestimate. This is horrible. And I re I want someone to like go. It's not, not me. I want but I wanna go. I do Let's not you want to start you, though. You, you I go. do not want to spend six thousand dollars, but we'll, I have we'll to just go out there totally like go just to make people. fun of it. It's like, did you have fun? Do you feel this is worth it? So they actually showed the interior of a room, and it is so fucking cramped. Do I, I don't I even fit in those rooms. I can't find a picture. No, you do not fit in the fucking room, period. And I, I can't fucking find Let me see if I can find it. Okay, here's another promo video. This one was actually a little bit better done, but it's still getting downvoted. This was back in August. For the first time. This is what I think people real. booked over, right? That's where it's sold out. We've oh, traveled to the far reaches of the galaxy. Like, whoa, I get to hang out with that dude. By the resistance. And this girl, and you do little storylines. That's a little sneak peek of the storylines. We gotta go save the ship. No. We're gonna save the galaxy. So this is an actual room, but if you look at it, what is this? A room for ants? That you cannot fit up in here. Well, I, yeah, you can't I, fit, I, I up, in fit up in there. Yeah. And the bed is, and remember, these are wide-angle lenses. They're trying to make the room look as best as possible, and this is what they come up with. Here's the headboard of the bed. You can see how cramped and tight and small it is. We gotta go save the ship. Where's my no. TV? There's a TV. We're save the galaxy. You can watch <laughs> Star is Wars it? while you're in Star Wars. It's on this side. <laughs> So yeah, I don't think this is gonna last very long. We're gonna get a lot of cancelizations. <gasps> it's going to be uh, a huge embarrassment, and it will soon be on Defunct Land, the YouTube channel. Shout out to him. He has the coolest videos uh, of like you know you some of the worst coasters. I watched or... Submarine Adventure from SeaWorld, the one that recently came out after they canceled their orca <laughs> breeding. They, where they were like, oh, this is going to be great. It's going to be a submarine adventure. It's all above ground. And it was a bunch of sun. And there's a few little coral things to the left. Of them. <laughs> that's what reminds me of this. Go watch that video. I'll leave a link down below. But also, don't forget, for your 6,000s, you get little themed food. They will food color your shrimp blue. See, when you take a, a shit bit. in their What bowls, about those uh, titty, the weird titty milk? Green titty milk? You green probably titty get that, milk too. They have awesome. it at Galaxy's um, Edge. I know that. Look, all you have to do is sell this to the people who own Galaxy Quest, and then I will go. And just, you also make it like way, way less expensive. And then, because that's the whole point, is it's supposed to look shitty. Let, like, let's have a, a Galaxy Quest place. I, I would like to go just to make fun of it, but obviously six thousand dollars is. Uh, I I it makes that. Galaxy's Edge look like a fucking steal. I'll give them that. That's what it makes it look like. You can buy yourself seven lightsabers at Galaxy's Edge. Build your own robots. Visit every single attraction they also have this uh, millennium falcon experience where you can go in and mess with the buttons in the millennium falcon and there's a screen Six thousand dollars in addition space. for a thousand dollars og will give you some mushrooms yeah. give you a broom handle and throw trash at you and you can be a real Book jedi down. yeah i'm accepting people come on down there it is spend your money with us thousand dollars 
Instead of that. It's a steal of a deal. <coughs> or Disney, contact us if you would like us to give you a serious, uh, very objective review of the whole experience for $6,000. Email us now. Yeah, be like, what happened? I got space crabs. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> I was not allowed. I was not about to let that slip under the radar. And they're trying to hide it and, and cancel the video so that people don't cancel their pre-order and their vacation stays. Wow. Um, maybe wow. when they lower the price, <laughs> uh, we could check it out or something. But anyways, that was hilarious. I just can't believe like <clears throat> you nailed it so well in that ride experience and Galaxy's Edge, where literally every corner of galaxy's edge has detail and people have taken video and shown it and they're like hey i really do feel immersed and how can they could fuck it up so bad on this side the hotel side where it's even more expenses it is even more tailored to you it's a colossal disaster and they're trying to hide it so Hopefully, Disney's successes will continue with the Star Wars license. Uh, I, I wish them the best, but at the same time, we are going to give them shit when they fuck it up. Mm. And you done fucked it up with the Star Trek mm. or Star Wars a Galaxy Experience, uh, Galactic Star Cruiser experience. All right, don't forget, get at me. We'll see. <laughs> and this is here. This is the defunct land, right? <laughs> That's this one you need to see. Like this was the one of the action worst park. coasters. I, I Green saw Lantern. Action Park one. Yeah. That Did you? Cool. Yeah. The funked land, and then the Sea World. The Sea World one is that. This one. This fucking submarine quest. You <laughs> need to watch. That was funny. Anyways, thank y'all so much. We will see you on the next Angry Joe show. Bye, Bye guys. guys.